Hi, YouTube. I hope you're doing good. I'm having an okay day. Not too bad. I did get my exercises done this morning and some online work that I had to do and, you know, same old type of thing. <laughs> well, Facebook and then some extra, like, would be paperwork, but I did it online type of thing. So, yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, so it's been a pretty good day so far. Um, I, I've been wondering about these James Webb telescope um, images that we've gotten. Why in the world wouldn't we have gone to our nearest planet, the moon, and got close-ups of the surface? with that telescope because um like take for instance bruce sees all astronomy and ufology um and well anyway um he gets he the stuff he shows there's actual features of things that go check out his channel if you haven't seen it there are things on the moon. There's movement, either mechanical or biological. There's structures. There's greenery, greens and blues. Why does NASA just show us images of all black and white stuff when there's color? So there's the James Webb showing us color supposedly, um, what is it, seven hundred million light years away or something like one light year is a million years something like that let me see i don't know if i saved the the information but anyway it's something equivalent to that um actually i'm going to look for a minute i i i think i might have saved it I thought it was maybe um, something we'd want to know. Give me one moment. Take me a second to pull up my Facebook here. It's just pulling up here. Well, here's a space one. New research finds Jupiter is flinging asteroids at Earth. Um, and, uh, well, anyway, there's a site that had put that scientific that had put it out. It has a web address. It's on my Facebook with a picture of Jupiter. It says Then it says, I'm not saying that what Jupiter is doing is right. I'm just saying I get it. <laughs> Terrible. Let's see. Here we go, I think. Okay. You know how far one light year is? It's how far light can travel in one year, 4.7 billion miles. They're saying they found a new planet 300 light years away. Bullcrap <laughs> is what this person wrote. And so I put, so why won't they show us a pebble on the moon if their capabilities are far superior? I'm still stuck on that phone call to the moon thing every time my digital signal goes wacky. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I think about their baloney. That's um, <laughs> just, just my thoughts on that. And you may have a differing opinion, and I'm cool with that, you know. I'm just... uh. 
I mean, it's not a surprise that the people that can lie to us and take money and say they're doing something for us and they're absolutely not, um, that they haven't done these types of things before because they have. You know, it's just like, uh, say, when the president or one of them gets caught lying or doing something scummy in that head office, they should be eliminated. Anybody in the White House deemed to be a liar on any level should be ousted immediately. No questions asked. Bye. Right now. You're, you're held accountable every second. Every second in your life, everything you do. And they're getting paid. So if you're you're being good by your own accord and they're screwing up by their own accord, you're paying them to screw you over. That that's not uh it's not even logical. This world is so mentally ill. That's the biggest that's the biggest um health crisis on this planet. And there is no nothing, no covering you can put on that except asking God in your heart, you know. Then he'll lead you, uh, like, maybe to take that covering off and stand up and claim your rights as a human on this planet. This planet was given to human beings, not those that don't act like that. Claim your birthright, you know. Stand up against these monsters and take what is yours. That's, that's what people have to say, just like I'm saying, if you want, if you if you actually believe in your heart that this planet was given to God's children, then you need to speak up on that fact because there's nobody on this planet that tells God's people what to do. Absolutely nobody. We have dominion over this place. This is ours. I never relinquished anything. I never signed my name to any of these debts, these freaking bozo of a clown scum of the earth freaks are trying to tell me I owe. I don't know shit to them. And as far as that goes, I have a bit of a student loan, not a major, major one. And I have the greatest credit score you can get. And my land and my home is paid for, too. I absolutely owe these fucking freaks absolutely nothing. They didn't work the sweat of their brows to get what even the little bit I have, you know then to tell me what I'm not worthy of that, that we should pay more. Yeah, I don't think so. What, like their education was more important than mine? Get a real job. Try it. You know? All the for young to old that are suffering at the hands of these demonic that are trying to push their retardation and acceptance um, of things that are just not even not even feasible in the human spectrum. It's like, okay, this isn't human. So what? Are, what? Are, why are we being forced to say this is okay in humanity when it isn't.
if it's demonic, you call it out for what it is. You don't accept it and say, well, everybody's going to do their own thing. No, it's time to stand up with God in our hearts and be strong on that fact, you know. And if you're like me, and if you have been with the Father from day one, don't let anybody tell you you're not who you are. If you know you've walked with God, even even if your conscience was enacted by trauma or alcohol or whatever the case might have been in your youth, and I'm saying if, um, because there's all different kinds of people in this world. But even if that had happened and you're okay now, don't let any dark force come in and tell you you're not who you are, you know. And that's what's going on here. They're literally trying to take God out of the human existence all the way through. It doesn't matter from what angle or topic or anything else. They've got them all dirty. Every single one of them. Yeah, it's not very cool, but I all I know is God told me not to shut up and to keep encouraging people to make sure everywhere you go you you reinforce the fact that there is no demonic entities and those connected to that that have any right on this planet, period. They have no right to even be employed with humans. So um, this, this shit's got to end. really does I and I know it's going to um the the sky literally is the the um star charts literally are a clock and in August is going to be the closest what they call the lion's gate will be um eight eight the lion's gate will be the closest um, to uh, the male and female energy not combining but understanding each other and um, understanding the power they have together. And if people miss out on that, it's not accepting the femininity within yourself or me being more masculine because we're dual in a dual system. No, you, your spirit is who God made you to be the whole time, no matter the pretense, what people's fetishes and retardations are. I'm not buying into it. And if more mental health and, and physical doctors don't start standing up and speaking up for the human beings, they don't have a right to fucking be here either. And that's the way that is. I'm talking from uh, from Congress people all the way down to your, we, we hire the postal system, we employ um, banks or whoever, these type of people, everybody, everybody, they better get with the program and start helping human beings as a whole in everybody's community all over this world. Because I'm telling you, this is what it is. It's an existence with thought and nothing to do with it. You have no motivation, mo le means of motivating. <laughs> Your spirit is stuck in a box for eternity. It's like it um, doesn't even matter if you're floating around in space. As far as everybody else is concerned, you have ceased to exist, but your thoughts will remain. That's how. And I just want to put that with you for a minute. 
let that sink in. You know, not gonna be physically tormented or burnt or nothing like that. That's ridiculous. Why would God waste energy and time? I mean, it's not that he doesn't have energy isn't even what people think it is when it comes to energy that God has. And still, mankind cannot give birth. Men can't give birth. You can pretend you're a man and give birth, but a man cannot give birth, you know. And even if they mechanically um, learn how to do that sometimes scientifically, which is a never, but they can keep pretending and everything. A mother is a mother, not a birthing person, you know. So I just, my thoughts on the day, you know. <laughs> just like uh, well really it's as cold as calling a father a sperm donor or even God we'll just call God source we won't and we'll just pretend that he isn't actually a being that can hug or communicate or anything he just made us and left us cold turkey and doesn't give a shit beyond the spirit that flows through everybody. If you believe that, I'm going to tell you different. God is a real person and can communicate telepathically with his spirit with people. And we are to search for the face of God, not just within mankind, in ourselves because the memory is in there for us when he made us all every single person has a memory from God on your creation ask him be real serious and ask him spiritual that's how he talks to us and I know some of you know that we also can communicate in the ether so that's you know and I'm here I'm tangible I'm a person I can talk to somebody telepathically doesn't mean I'm not real or a person you know and um, how demeaning to just say God is a spirit in heaven yes heaven in your temple but God is literally a person and can and did become human to walk with us so as far as somebody saying that he's just the spirit in heaven well we can say that he's resting and this is the truth and people need to grow the hell up a whole bunch before they even have access to that um, connection, a physical connection. And I think that that is what we would all want to strive for, to either hug and, and um, I would say, um, let me, I'm searching for the most perfect word. It's got to be just perfect. Just give me a minute. Um, yep, just a sec. Honor. We'd want to hug and honor him right to his self. And that would be the ultimate goal of anybody or we would want to confront, condemn, and destroy one that made us because out of jealousy. And um, that's jealousy. 
<laughs> That's the word. Oh my goodness, there is a woodchuck out there pulling on a tarp of Doug's wood. I think it was covering something up. I think it dug a hole under the wood fire pile. <clears throat> it came out and pulled the tarp back over where it came out of, I think. <laughs> They're cute. They're all over the yard now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, and a trail cam. My whole yard's a trail cam. <laughs> you know, that's why I don't don't really worry about it. If I catch a shot, that's cool. I mean, if a deer is standing there, and the only reason that last deer when I got um got scared because it heard Doug's truck coming. Otherwise, it would have probably sat there and ate in the backyard when I got a shot of it. So. Yeah, they're all around us, you know, because there's woods and water all, and you know, a lot of hiding places and food and everything they need right here. So they, we live where they live and vice versa. And literally we planted more food for them than they ever had before. This was so barren around here. And now there's like fruit trees and um, grains and different things that um, we put here for them, you know. So, yeah, I think it was um, them woodchucks. I had a pear tree out in the backyard and a couple other apple trees. And I think they, they got them, but there was some. Um, couple of I have a flowering crab and a regular American crab apple tree and I have currants and raspberries and um, red currants raspberries there was um, strawberries um, let's see what else oh just just all kinds of stuff hazelnuts or what a lot of people would call filberts I don't know, a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> so, you know, they, they're happy little animals around here is what I'm trying to say. That's where that deer and her baby were headed to, out to an apple tree. <laughs> you know. Yeah, all that for... um humans too but then on top of it with all the wild herbs there's uh what they call leek or wild onions there's um, uh, plantains and parsley and um, chamomile and wild thyme and rye um, really all kinds of all kinds of stuff I could go on and on but enough to really survive right off my own own land without any government intervention or bullshit so you know it's like why when a person has put that much work into their life would I just sit here and think well gee I'm not going to say anything I think I'll just let them do whatever the hell they want no I'm not doing that it's like no not at all well fly tried to get me but yeah you know if you see what I mean it's like I spent my almost my entire working adult life on this place <laughs> you know well I had some goofy years about 10 years before that but well if you call working nights and having kids goofy <laughs> yeah. and different different things in my life but you know furthering my education different things I did just to, because I had to you know so yeah I'm a, I'm a not 
not given up. I'm not even thinking that these these creeps, I mean, they think that um, either China or Israel, all the same thing, um, England and all roads lead back to Rome, whatever, they're all connected is what I'm saying. And there's no way that there's going to be a one world government like they want and America's just going to roll over and play dead. I don't see that happening at all. It's just wishful thinking. And then people can be a lot more careful who they put in charge of their lives from here on now. Because like I say, the only, only sickness, the biggest sickness in the world is mental illness. And they're using everything they can to attack people. Everything. Even telling you to eat more fruit, which is a really ridiculous. Um, high, the higher your blood sugar is, the more carbs your body creates um, instead of uh, letting the proteins that you get go into your body as amino acids to build muscles. All the shit they're doing to people. And your brain is a muscle. So when you're eating all these fruits and veggies, you got to be careful. You have to make sure you have enough protein in there. The more protein, you 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 don't you can't die from eating too much protein. You can die from eating too much even natural sugar or um, folic acid. You can overdo that too. Iron, a lot of green things. It's a heavy metal. People have to really, same with asparagus, you have to really be aware what you're putting in your body at what, what times, you know. I'll talk more on that another time, but it's just like I tell people, it, um, I like milk. It helps me live a lot of times, that little creature is out there again. But, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, here's one kid with that tarp. Well, well, maybe I'll try and get them. Oh, if I do that, if I turn it around, it, it is goofing around. Maybe I'll make a separate video of just um, checking it if it's still out there. Because, yeah, it's covering up the wood pile where it lives. You're goofy. It's the one that waves at me. It's the oldest one. It must be the mama or daddy, one of them. But this silly little animal. I still can't believe, like, my friend Darla Lama on here told me that a neighbor of hers had some under his shed and put gas on them and lit them on fire. Well, I know it's kind of expensive. But um, we've been driving sheets of steel into the ground and blocking off their entrances from under the shop where they were going. And Doug's been battling them, but he's moving them into um, piles of wood that we have and brush that we had saved. And there's plenty. There's, like, vehicles and stuff around where they can go um burrow under that. I have, um, you know, different places they can go and do that, that they'll be just as comfortable. Well, maybe not as comfortable under the floor of a heated shop, but pretty well. <laughs> we heat that with wood, but um, I think Doug's got a gas stove that his old one went out. So, but we he's heated that with wood for Ever since I've known them, so well, pretty much there was a couple winters where we had the gas on low, and then that went to quit. So, but it didn't matter because we usually would just burn wood out there anyway. Now neither one of us, unless we have to, we're not cutting and splitting any more wood unless we have to, and we've got some around here that just cleaning up our wood gives us some. 
and then they'll buy like um, hardwood for the winter, you know, many, many woods <laughs> for the house and the shop. So. But it is a lot warmer heat than gas and the gas stove runs and when you have wood heat it's just um, cozy, really nice, you know. Well, I'm going to upload this. I just want to give you my thoughts on the um, really, uh, I would call it um, I don't know what I'm going to name it, but it is it's a, it's a mental illness overload when people are starting to follow these demons and believe things that just are not real. We are being forced to believe that somebody with a penis can give birth. That's ridiculous. It does not happen. You know. And they can pretend to do whatever they want to do. It doesn't make it real. And it's time that medical and mental health professionals start standing up and I mean there's ones there's ones that will speak out on it and they have more of them have to and more of if people want to lead you in like the congress or a statesman or something they better make it absolutely clear that they're working for human beings and not demons it's time we all start standing up and demanding our world back. So that's the way that is today. I demand these satanic and demonic creatures get off our earth, our God given land and heaven. Get the hell out of our lives. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me. Um, have a really good night or day wherever you're at. God bless you. Peace.